Do you have your drinks with Diet Coke as the mixer? You do? Well, let's see what vodka Diet Coke does to blood sugar levels. Today, I'm having 60ml vodka with 120ml Diet Coke and in total, this should be around 130 calories, which is the same as when I had vodka with soda as the mixer because Diet Coke has no calories in it. Now, the graph should be similar to when I had vodka with soda, but let's confirm it. Let's play a guessing game. I'm guessing that there won't be any spike, but the dip is going to be deeper and faster compared to when I had vodka with soda. That's what I think. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. Minus 19 mg increase with no initial spike. The no initial spike part does make sense because the mixer was Diet Coke, which has no sugar in it. And that's why if you remember when I had Diet Coke on its own also, it had not given any sugar spike. The interesting part is minus 19 mg, which means that my blood sugar levels fell below baseline far more compared to when I had vodka with soda, where the reduction was only 13 mg. Maybe that's why symptoms like headache, irritability, hunger were lesser when I had vodka with soda. Of course, my symptoms were the worst when I had coke as the mixer, even though they fell by 21 mg below baseline, which is similar to when I used diet coke. And maybe that's because the crash started at plus 32 and then went to minus 21. That's a 53 mg swing. As of now, soda seems to be the winner, but let's see what happens as the series goes along.